Hello. Hey, hey what's up, man? How you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. My name's Michael. Hey, Michael. Derek. Amish. Derek. Derek and Amish. Good to meet you guys. Right. So, I had fun playing your game over the weekend. I have to say. Awesome. awesome. Thank Glad you. you did. Yeah. Nif nifty little thing. Um. So uh, I guess we'll just keep this simple. Uh, what inspired you to come up with Acorn Assault? Um, the actual gameplay of it came from uh, me playing the mobile game uh, Triple Town. Okay. And I just got sucked into it, um, you know, years back. And I, for some reason, I just wanted to figure out how can I make this kind of mechanic a competitive type of uh, gameplay. Sure. And so I kind of poked around and... and um, just just uh, looked at different ways we could do that, and we kind of just landed on this idea of what ended up becoming Acorn Assault. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it was a it was an Xbox One port, correct? At least the Steam version. No, no. Um, actually, Steam is the uh, first release of this title. Okay. Uh, and we are going to be uh, coming out on Xbox. Uh, okay. Xbox. Okay. So, so Amish and Derek, what do you both do then for uh, Hightail Studios? Like, what, what are your main jobs here? So, everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything. We're full stack, all the way yeah. top to bottom. Um, okay. I, I do some of the business side of things. Uh, I do a lot of the development. Uh, Derek does a lot of the artwork and, uh, and development as well. So we kind of wear all the hats. <laughs> okay, okay. We have a guy who does our um, music. Our music. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we don't do that ourselves. Sure, sure. So is this a, a full-time job for you guys then? Hightail no. Studio? It's, it's, we, we still have our day jobs. But okay, okay. So it, it's kind of a, a hobby sort of a, yeah, we'll a deal. Hard on okay, cool, cool. Uh, what made you choose the Unity engine? Um, back in uh, college uh, for my senior project, we were just evaluating a bunch of different uh, engines out there. And at the time, Unity was uh, kind of the up and comer, but it had the biggest install base. And okay. I really liked their their licensing platform. And but the install base was was kind of huge for us to to be able to um, reach out to the community and, and kind of solve our issues. Um, sure, sure. Engine, so that that was pretty big. So so especially if you ran into like an issue, I guess while making the game, you could you had a pretty deep. There was that, and then also um, when we started using the Unity engine, um, Unreal wasn't as popular, so the licensing fees on Unreal was kind of high for an indie studio. Okay. So that's something that we weren't, that was really the other competition at the time, and we just kind of went down the, the path of uh, Unity because of that as well. Okay, okay. Uh, how long did, did it take you guys to create this? Um, if you want to look at the, uh, the long answer is uh, three years. Okay. Uh, so we actually started um, back. I don't know if you you've uh, played Ouya at all. Uh, little... Heard of it? Haven't used one yet. So um, we were a Kickstarter backer of of that back in the day. Okay. Um, and we participated in this game jam that they had, uh, and we came out with our, our first prototype of Acorn Assault. Uh, and then uh, we released the first version Acorn Assault. Um, on there, and then a lot of people wanted to know more about the characters and, and see more of this uh, this world we kind of built up. So we decided let's make an extension to uh, Acorn Assault, create this new title, um, and so we extended upon that. So the, if you were to just look after the, the Ouya build, maybe about a year and a half, two years. What was the biggest hurdle or challenge you have creating this game, creating it? Um, Is there one that sticks out in your mind? Is there's there's quite a bit of um, art assets that went into this, um, mm -hmm. so that definitely did take up a good amount of time. Um, really, we don't have an art team; it's just me doing it. Sometimes I'll, I'll uh, buy some assets online and then tweak them to to fit our style. Um, but that that was kind of one of the ones. But we we had a vision to to make this thing uh, look very beautiful, and I think sure got close to that so it, yeah. it, i do like the, the the graphics are very they fit i guess perfectly is what i want it, to it fit the mood that kind of the style the the funness of it um Thank especially you. the cutscenes the cutscenes are great <laughs> <laughs> so uh what marketing attack point have you taken with acorn assault um so we we kind of um we started off by doing some guerrilla marketing uh, and reached out to people but actually we're starting a partnership with uh black shell media 
um, and they're actually going to be helping us out, um, reaching out to YouTubers, Les Plays. Um, Are they a PR firm? They're actually a publishing marketing. Company. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. But they have a marketing branch, which is going to be doing. So we just signed the deal over the weekend. So okay, cool. Um, yeah, the game will be uh, published under Blackshell Media, developed by us, um, and they're going to be starting their marketing campaigns for us um, here shortly. Okay. So, and, and it's great for us because it allows us to continue working on the game, improving it, uh, rather than marketing, for, especially for an indie studio, can take up quite a bit of time. So yeah, it's, it's really sure. going to... imagine so. Do you have any plans to extend the Acorn Assault series, maybe some DLC, uh, different... Uh, platforms, anything like that to really? share? At this point, it is probably going to depend on... Um, I mean, we have a couple of platforms that we're going to be hitting next. So, like, the PS4, Xbox. Okay. Uh, PS4 hasn't been fully announced yet. We're still working with them on that. But it has been announced for Xbox One. Um, so that is for 100% sure we're going on that platform. We're going there, hopefully, by this summer. Um, and then after that, we're we're probably going to still work in the franchise and and with IP and actually maybe have a mobile version of the game, something slightly different than the Steam build, right? But, you know, just a different game out there for the mobile platform. Um, mm -hmm. But we do, we, we love the game. We really do. So we just hope that the community loves it as well and, and it can grow. So sure. well, I, I, I had a great time playing it. Um, and that also struck me how uh, perfectly I think it would adapt to a mobile a mobile platform, at least from what I could, I mean, it, it seemed like you could very easily do a drag and drop sort of style interface. Right, right. Yeah. So, so but but when we do go to mobile, don't expect the exact same title. We want to do some some brand new stuff there. Which yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah. yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Well, um. Oh, and another thing I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I thought it was it was a it was a great game to introduce people who didn't necessarily like games, if that makes sense to you. Um, at least from my standpoint, I'm you know gamer all in all but uh to like say somebody like my you know family members it'd be a great way to hey check out this game cool little cut scenes because the strategy is very simple to pick up but there's still depth to it i found yes yeah, that, it. that's actually um uh i like strategy games but but not not ones that like um that you have to invest a, a lot of your time into because i just don't have that time uh, and that's one thing I kind of fell in love with this design of the game was um, the simplicity of it. You really can you can pick it up in in an hour and understand the core mechanics of it. And then, I mean, we we put the game in other people's hands and we've seen um, uh, strategies that we haven't even thought of. Yeah, that really kind of surprised us. Well, I mean, I've been I've been playing and making the game for three years now, right? So you're right. I'm really, really good at it, but we got it into one of our friend's hands, and he learned how to play it overnight. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna play him." <laughs> player battle, and he just killed me, killed me the first time. So he yeah. destroyed me. So I was like, "Okay, I just had a bad game, I had some bad draws. Let's do it again." Killed me again. So the strategy was completely different than you know Derek's strategy. So yeah. sure, sure. And I feel that's a mark of a good deep game because it's not like tic tac toe where it's solved, or even checkers to where it, you know, has been solved right. from a, a technical standpoint. So, all right. Well, hey guys, I appreciated you interviewing with uh, me. I had a again a lot of fun playing it, and I, I really am really right. satisfied with the game. So, cool. thank you. Hey, thank thanks, you. man. Yeah, thanks for yeah. having us on. Absolutely. Best of luck in the future, to you guys. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Mike. Ha right. Have a good one.